top story tonight, lawmakers' security and News Nation's Washington, D.C. correspondent Joe Khalil standing by to kick off our coverage tonight. Joe, from the nation's capital. It was really remarkable today to hear House Speaker Nancy Pelosi come forward and talk about some of the plans and some of the measures that uh, are going to be taken here to try to keep lawmakers safe. There are continued legitimate threats uh, since January 6th. And I have to say, since we have been here every single day as we come through the Capitol, it is still like a fortress. There are still uh, National Guard troops outside. There are still barbed wire fences everywhere. Uh, and the big news today that we're hearing from Capitol Police is they are considering keeping that fence up uh, permanently. There are a number of calls to do that and a number of uh, lawmakers who support that idea. Now, just yesterday, the Department of Homeland Security uh, put out a, a memo that essentially said that there are continued threats uh, of domestic terrorism like some of the groups that we saw perpetrate uh, the riots at the Capitol on January 6th. Those continue. Today, there was a letter that 32 different lawmakers signed uh, addressed to House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, uh, Leader Kevin McCarthy on the Republican side, uh, essentially asking uh, for the allowance that lawmakers get to be used uh, in their districts when they go home because they don't feel safe. Things like extra added security when they do events, uh, things like body armor or another security equipment. That's what we're dealing with now. But even more remarkable today, uh, the speaker said something along the lines of the threat comes from outside and from inside. There have been a number of threats on social media made uh, by People and those threats in a few rare cases have been shared and spread by current members of Congress. Uh, so that's what we're dealing with now. A number of members also uh, brought up the issue of carrying guns onto the House and Senate floor. That's something that's a point of contention now. Uh, we're going to continue to be looking into this story as we uh, go through new security measures that, again, lawmakers are bringing up because they are fearful that some of these threats could be credible. And we've certainly seen them before. In the past decade, we had two members who were shot uh, at one Steve Scalise in 2017 and Gabby Giffords uh, about a decade ago now. Uh, but guys, these threats are, are taken seriously and we're hearing remarkable things from leadership that we haven't heard before in terms of security uh, of the members here at the Capitol.